Hi, my name is Leire, and this is my personal statement. First off, I want to say that I'm not deaf, I'm hearing, but deaf culture and sign language are some of my passions, but we'll talk about that later. Making a video seemed a more dynamic and personal way of showing you who I am. So let's get started. I have lived in three different countries in the last eight years. Those experiences shaped my mindset and developed my passion for international relations. When I was 13 years old, I moved from Spain to Portugal. I had lived in Spain my whole life, so moving to Portugal was a lot to process for me. It was a new life, new friends, new language. It was honestly a big culture and language shock. I had to change and adapt to the community surrounding me. Then again, four years later, I moved to Canada. I already spoke English fairly well, but the culture shock was more impactful than in Portugal. I found the culture more difficult to adapt to at the beginning. Making friends was also hard and just adapting in general was tough. I also found school to be harder there. However, learning languages has always been a passion. When I moved somewhere, learned the language and was able to have a conversation with someone in their native language and being able to take down those barriers, it's very inspiring to me. So I'm currently learning my fifth language, American Sign Language, and I thought this might be a good opportunity to show you that, since it's a prominent part of my personality at the moment. A lot of people think only of voice when talking about language, but there are so many varieties, spoken language, sign languages, braille, etc. So many options. This is something of a personal goal to me. I want to enable conversations with communities that are often overlooked when talking about international relations or international transactions. Those are often communities that may not have such a strong voice. I believe my past experiences have made me more resilient and gave me the ability to adapt easily to different situations and environments. I also developed a pretty flexible mindset so I can adapt and understand issues from varied perspectives also depending on who I'm having the conversation with. All of these experiences are what made me decide to apply to graduate school and pursue international relations. Understanding how international relations are created, maintained, their weaknesses and strengths, it is intriguing and fascinating to me. So I guess I developed this passion over the years. My goal when applying to the international relations program is to someday move into a position that allows me to work in an international environment, such as an embassy, after graduation. I want to focus on bridging communication between cultures, and I believe the learning from this program will help me. I hope this provides you with a better understanding of who I am, and also hope you like my story. Thank you.